Hello guys, this is The Your Detective, and today we're going to be taking a look at my first Bionicle Titan on YouTube. This is Gadonka from 2007. Um, so I'm going to bring him a bit closer to the camera, but first, he has these silver Paraka feet. Okay, so, now let's bring him a bit closer. So we're going to start off with his arm. Oh, whoops, the camera just moved. I just knocked it a bit. So his arms. He has these silver Kalma armor pieces, which were also used on Hydraxon. He has these silver spikes, and these are his claw, his hands. Um, this the one on the bottom. This one can't move, but these two can move because they're on these ball pieces, as you can see. Can you see that? So you can move those, but the bottom one is just on that piece, so it can't move. But that doesn't matter. His other arm is exactly the same, except you add on the squid launcher. And I will show you the squid launcher later um, and what it does. Um, he has a Nika armor in blue, dark blue. And a kind of interesting thing is he actually has three different types of blue. He has dark blue. He has this glow-in-the-dark blue. Um, and I'll show you that in another video because he was in his package um, for a while. I just unpacked him today. So he's been in a dark area for a long time. So he, do he hasn't been able to recharge his light. He, he hasn't gotten enough light. So I can't really show you how that glows. But other features on the head. You can open up the mouth. There are these Mata arms. Which use as a jaw. There's also this Paraka foot which is a tongue in red. The same one that was used on Paraka Hakan. And these spines from Alec also come in um, Maxwell's and Spinax in the silver color. So they're not exclusive, sadly. But this headpiece is exclusive to the figure, and um, also you can't, you can't get it in any other colors either. One interesting thing is the neck. I'm gonna bring him around before we get to the neck, sorry. One, two, three, and I just knocked down the squid. Three Anika torsos, which is kind of interesting, because, if I can just get the squid back on. Um, he's a very interesting build. He's not complex. He took me about 10 to 15 minutes, um, because I'm a very advanced builder. He might take about half an hour for builders that might not be that advanced. But, um, that's very interesting. He's a very interesting and unorthodox build. One cool thing is the neck. We have these Viserac limbs, two of them, as a neck. And you can extend the neck. This is the highest that it will go. And the lowest that it will go is this. I honestly don't really like this low neck version of him. So I'm gonna bring that up to the, I like to keep it in the middle. This high neck makes him look too um, weird. And the low neck is even weirder. I like to keep it a bit in the middle like this. Um, it's kind of interesting, you can see there. These Toa Hordika limbs in Mata Blue. So that's new. It's exclusive to the set. You can't get those in any other color. Um, now we'll go on to the squid launcher. So we can go to the back. We have these little clips. Take off the squid. Squid looks like this. They're rubber. Let's turn them around. You take it. You put it in the launcher. And then you pull back. I'm just going to go around. And you should hold the squid launcher down. And fire. Landed right there. It's not the best launcher in the world, um, and it is very difficult. It's probably, most of the Bionicle um, launchers and stuff are kind of hard to master. Well, the Xamarosphere launchers and the Medex Sky Blasters, not so much, but, um, but the Squid launchers and the Virgos Blasters and um, stuff like that are kind of hard. So you're going to have to practice, because this is definitely... 
one of the most fan hated Lego launchers. Everyone hates these. Um, they're not the worst. They are pretty bad, and they're kind of hard to shoot. And I got pretty lucky on that shot. But you kind of have to be quick. You kind of have to shoot the squid quick, and then you'll be able to shoot it. So yeah, I kind of messed up on that one. But when you're done with the squid, you can take it and then clip it back onto his back. So yeah, I hope you like my review on Bionicle Gadunka, and yeah, bye.